Okay, so today we're doing an oil change on a 2007 Kawasaki ZX6R 636. Um, I got it up on the stand, although you don't you don't necessarily need to have it. Just makes it easier because you have your bike straight up to drain the oil out. Uh, first thing we're going to do is locate the oil filter and the drain plug, which uh, on some sport bikes can be down here in the front uh, behind the headers you might need to take off the uh, fairing on the side in this case on the uh, Kawasaki they uh, put it right here behind the fairing then you have your uh, drain plug which is uh, gonna be usually facing downward or it might be uh, sideways but uh, it's gonna be in, in the front bottom vicinity of the uh, bike and then uh, you have your, uh, obviously, we'll start by unscrewing this where we're going to pour in the oil after, but need to have this open in order to drain the oil out. So I'll just set that down here. Next thing I'm going to do is uh, unscrew the uh, oil filter picked up one of these uh, wrenches at GNC basically just uh, get a, a grasp on it there and cut it loose and then uh, pretty much do it with your hand next we're gonna uh, go ahead and put the uh, little pan I picked up at the auto parts with a funnel and the, uh, some, some shop towels and uh, some Gojo to clean your hands for like five bucks. Little package deal there. Um, just remove the uh, oil filter, unscrewed it. And uh, next, I'm gonna take off this the uh, bolt that I had uh, shown earlier. So I'm just gonna pause for a moment as I uh, unscrew it. So I just uh, drained the oil plug. It's draining out the oil right now. It's usually going to be a little bolt like that. Um, just wait for it. Get a few seconds to drain out completely. Uh, next we have our new oil filter. Which I'm just going to go ahead and, uh, and screw in here. Try to... Get it with my hand as much as I can, and then uh, the rest I can just uh, grip it with the uh, little tool here. Now we have our own. Uh, go ahead and screw the bolt. It's pretty much done draining out. I'm going to, uh, I don't know if you can get a little get up under there. I mean, I showed where the bolt was before. And pretty much screw it in by hand. You don't want to. You don't want to screw it in the, so hard with the with the socket wrench that you're going to strip the uh, the bolt later. But uh, just tighten it. Uh, should be tight enough there. Got the uh, filter screwed in already. Now uh, pretty much. All we're going to do in is uh, pour in the, uh, put the funnel over here on this side, put the funnel into here. I'm going to pour in uh, about three and a half quarts. I'm just going to run through the manual and, and uh, confirm that or you can call your local uh, bike shop. And uh, so I'm just finishing up here, pouring in all the uh, quarts ended up being uh, four quarts once the uh, filters removed and uh, it's a pretty easy process once I'm done filling up the oil I'm just gonna cover it up uh, start the engine for a couple minutes and let the uh, let the fresh oil run through the engine um, yeah this uh, that's pretty much the whole oil change save you about a hundred plus dollars taking it to a shop if you uh, pretty much just have to have some common sense to be able to do it 
and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's an oil change on uh, sport bikes, cruisers, pretty much all the same thing, except for the uh, oil preference I'm using a 1040 oil, which is probably what you'll mostly be using for uh, motorcycles, for uh, sport bikes. And uh, all right, enjoy it.